Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg from In5D.com and In5D.net, and I'm live on Siesta Key Beach. Let me see if I can turn this thing around. My beach cart is down there on Access 12. So you're looking at all of the condos from Access 12 all the way down to Point of Rocks, which is where we're heading. Now, before, before Milton, I did a, a shot of Siesta Key, including the beach. And they had all the sand piled up over here from the sand that they dug out from the parking lot, all the parking lots. See, this was a new facility that they had just built. <clears throat> and you can see what the erosion has done to the beach. That, I think there's a, uh, a beach cam here. So yeah, there is up on top of the, the building there. There's a beach cam. So you can probably, <laughs> if you're online live, you can probably see me walking the beach. But you can see where this went down to the sand. Unless the bottom part got torn off. But a lot of this is erosion. And I can tell already that most of it's erosion from the seawall. A lot of the beach has washed away. It's an interesting. Um, yesterday there was, I saw a couple Chinook copters that flew in. And those are used to bring in military. That's never a good thing. You don't want to see that. But yeah, it, if you live in Sarasota, you'll see the Chinook copters that were flying around yesterday. God, I could have swore there was something right here. People are shelling down here. This is where Siesta Key reality show is filmed. It's really at the home of Ask Gary, 1-800-ASK-GARY, which is a free advertisement for him right now. Their privacy gate is not providing any privacy right now. Looks like their windows got blown out. Maybe, I don't know. Oh my, look at this big tree down. Yeah, I'm, I'm barefooted, so. Gotta navigate this carefully. And here we have the indigenous tire shell, commonly found on Siesta Key Beach. Oh, 
Look at all this. Crazy. Yeah, there used to be steps right there that went up to that person's house. And it looks like that house got some damage below there as well. There's all sorts of shells in here. I have a lot of them. Look at that one. Well, you don't, you don't see ones like that often, do you? Crazy. Wonder how that one house is doing over here. It's like they lost their deck, but the house is still standing. That's good. Look at this tree that got uprooted. These trees, both of them. And this tree right here. <clears throat> Around Christmas time, people would find shells. Let's see. Kind of, kind of like this. Except they were older and they had... Oh, there's a slug in it. Let's throw them out. Good luck. Yeah, also, if you're shelling here, be sure there's no animals inside. But during Christmas, like this one, it's a pretty shell, but I think there's, I think there's something inside of it, unless those are more shells. No, they were more shells. So, I just found a pretty shell, but... I see this guy moving. Okay, you're going back out. As I was saying, this is going to take a while for it to recover. It's a palm tree down there, but yeah. Some of these, uh, I don't know, I, I, they think they may be mangroves, but... People would come here around Christmas time and hang up shells on the tree. It was kind of like a Christmas tradition on Siesta Key Beach. I saw, I think I saw one trying to move over here somewhere, another one. Where'd you go, dude? Oh, this guy. <clears throat> yep. Good luck. Probably shouldn't be walking barefooted in this stuff. But that used to be there. I always love that house. I had a dream that I, I lived there, that I owned it. And for the record, the best shells are right around the seawall. If you ever do come to Siesta Key Beach. Everyone walks to the seawall and stops. Not knowing that it's around the corner. Now you can see the uh, the water line. That's pretty much yeah. That's that that that's pretty much where the beach came to. So we've lost a couple feet of height of beach height. So. 
There's the sheriffs moving along. It's going to take a long time for Siesta Key to recover. I don't know if it's ever going to, honestly. Let's give you an idea of how big this is. I'm standing right in front of it. So, this is a pine tree right here, obviously. Wow. Wonder how the tree is doing up the main beach. So. beach itself, I would imagine it's going to take a long time to recuperate. It's not good. The city, Siesta Key itself, I drove through, and you can find that video here on YouTube, but I drove through like a day or two before Milton and after Helene. And it was horrible. Most of the people, most of, many of the homes will have to be bulldozered. And that's not good. And many of us that are locals are wondering if this is a land grab because corporations try to come in and buy up land here so they could put their condos in here. And Siesta Key said no. But now that it's devastated, well, just putting it out there, is that possible? Fuck yeah. They don't give a fuck about us. Yeah, this is the south end. It's called Crescent Beach up here as it loops around toward the main beach. I don't think any of these places are open. There's that, that beach cam up there. There's several beach cams all over. I think the House of the Rising Sun with the big sun there has one. I think the seashell right next to it has one. Yeah, you can see the House of the Rising Sun one. Unless that's a, it looks like a, a webcam up there. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see Siesta Key recovering anytime soon. I love this beach.
interesting. They there's a meme floating around from this author whose last name is Milton, as in Hurricane Milton. And I guess he was popular for writing this book, Paradise Lost. And I would always say when when I came to the beach, this is paradise. Siesta Key Beach is paradise. I'm not even sure if it'll recover in my lifetime. Of course, I'm I turn 65 in a couple of weeks. I'm sorry, 64. check engine light is on. I gotta get that fixed. I don't have any electricity. Uh, storm leaked water into my on, onto the roof of my home and I had previous water damage from that as well that went down to the floorboards. The lattice on my trailer blew off. A couple awnings blew off. But outside of that, my mobile home is still there. I have a place to live. I'm alive. It's, uh, it's pretty surreal right now. Okay, now we're looking at Beach Access 12 and we're heading north. Now, up there is where the main beach is and they moved all the lifeguard towers back because of the storm surge so you, normally you can see the, them from here um, and this is what we're looking at I'm not sure how long it'll be if ever that people will be allowed back into their their condos and I'll show you why. And when I get back, I was just playing bocce ball on this stretch of the beach right here. And there's a garbage can way up there. I played to maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 yards beyond that. And I found all sorts of amazing shells. Just like right here, right here. Right now we got a little light rain going on. The biggest concern is the foundations of these places. Once again, you'll see what I'm talking about. There was a lot of erosion. And that includes the, the bottom of these, these buildings. And there's a place up here I want to show you guys. <clears throat> and you can see these wooden walkways, how much sand has eroded from underneath them. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, these shells are all over the place. And if you're shelling on the beach, make sure there's no critters inside of them. I have found a, a number of shells that have life inside of them and threw them back in the water. Wished them luck. Nothing inside. <clears throat> I 
mean, that's how easy it is finding shells like this. They're all over. All right? This. Do you see how it sunk? That's not good. I'm guessing that whole building's gonna have to come down. And I'm guessing most of these buildings have similar foundations that will have to come down as well. And it's so freaking sad. Now places, I used to live up here. There's uh, villas beyond. These big two towers up here. I used to have a villa at Crescent Arms. And there, they're 11 feet above sea level, believe it or not. And they do have a little seawall built. They might be safer there than a lot of these places that don't have the seawall built in front of their condos. But obviously it's a, it's like a ghost beach. I've spoken to a few people. The people that I have spoken to all agree that whether manipulation was used to create this. Now, Siesta Key Recently, large corporations wanted to buy property, like, and I'm not saying it was them, but corporations like, you know, the Hilton or whatever, wanted to buy land so they could build their luxury hotels here. And Siesta Key's like, no, we want to keep it quaint and simple. I'm not saying that this is what happened, but is it possible that that's what happened. If, there, if weather manipulation is true, which it is, there's, if you don't believe me, look on uh, Google for the patents for creating tornadoes and hurricanes. So if it's true and large corporations wanted to get their foot in here, One plus one equals what? Unless you're doing common core math. But if that's the case, you're a retard. So yeah, is that a possibility? Yep. And I gotta put that stupid disclaimer on here for YouTube. This is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah. So yeah, this... I, d I don't see it recovering in my lifetime to the way it was. And that's because of what I just showed you with the foundations of all these buildings. Not good. Maybe a few buildings like what I showed you with Crescent Arms. Although I don't even think that because I, when I drove through there the other day, and you can find that video on the N5D YouTube channel, but when I drove through that, the front door was open and they were shoveling out sand from the ground floor of Crescent Arms. So not that big, not that big one, but those two ones, two smaller towers right there. <clears throat> so, It just, it breaks my heart. So, any, oh, I wanna show you guys this. This is uh, in addition to the stuff I've already found. And these are, I wasn't even looking, you know, and I, it's not like I went down to this shoreline or down to the end of the beach 
He was just like walking up here for a short little period down to that garbage can, maybe a little beyond that, and that's it. And I found all these cool shells. So. I want to thank everyone for sending lots of love, positive thoughts, prayers, intentions. It made a difference. It really did. You know, for the catastrophe that it could have been, especially with what the mainstream media was saying. Oh, potential Category 6 that's never been invented. Just goes to show you how the mainstream media is all about fear mongering. But it could have been, it could have been a lot worse here. And I truly do believe that everybody's positive thoughts and intentions made a huge difference on what it is and what it could be. So, with that in mind, I'm going to sign off. I'm Greg from in5d.com and in5d.net. Sending you all lots of love and light from my heart to yours. Take care, everyone.